maker, keeper, brother, redeemer, servant, savior, protector, sustainer. For us, we like to jump around a little bit in terms of genre, so we don't always, some of our songs are more, um, it's more poppy, some of them are more alternative, some are like piano led and some are very like synthy, but fundamental to us across probably most of our tracks is like the, the Juno particularly, which is over my shoulder. It's the sound that kind of carries through the whole song and um, it's actually a very simple chord structure in this song. It's like two chords for the entire verses. And actually, in this, it doesn't come into the second chorus, but it's and it, and even then, it's in the second half. But it's quite a big build from. You've got like the first half of the chorus where it's quite thin throughout the middle, and then this big Juno pad comes in, and it's like kind of we made it as big as possible. So this is the Juno that we use a lot of the time. This is one of the core sounds in the song. You speak and your voice interrupts all the noise. You're the word. At the start, bringing light to the void. From the verse, it's very much the vocal moving around, and in the in the chorus, it sits more of a choral like drone of a vocal. Um, and and the nice thing is that the bass line is kind of doing it's doing a lot of moving around underneath that vocal. Yeah. So if I can find it, so the vocal on its own, it's like this. Maker, keeper, brother. Redeemer, but then if you add in the, the bass line savior, protector, So with most studios, I'm sure with most bands it's the same like you, you use the instruments you've got to their best effect and try and switch up the sounds but they inform a lot of how you sound and for us we use the Juno a lot like we showed you already and then we have this organ obviously we use the Moog and the piano quite a bit as well this is like one of the most noisy pianos in Sussex so like but we like it because it's kind of jaunty and sounds weird and we like to use those sounds sometimes so like for example the pedal sound is it's creaky and and very noisy and uh, but we don't often take those sounds out, we leave them in and like this needs an oyster card here to make it stand up, like, that's the kind of piano it is. So. And the bass is interesting to talk about, so it's a combination of all three of these, it's the Juno, the Moog and the organ on the actual pedals and there's some clicky sound in there because it's quite, again, it's noisy. Like I think Joe's genuinely mic'd up as opposed to yeah. DI. So we mic up this organ um, rather than DI, so the bass is something like this. So that layers up with um, a bass on the Juno and a patch on the Moog and gives us the sound that we have in the track. And there's also like even like a MIDI instrument on top doing a bit of top end as well, so all together. And the thing is the character is still that Juno thing because it's got such a, like a vibe to it on the top end where you can just instantly tell it's a Juno, but everything else is just adding a lot of depth and texture to it. So. Yeah, it's a combination of a lot of things. I'm a big fan of apologetics and I enjoy theology and trying to learn more about God and who he is and his attributes. Um, I think that works its way out into our music sometimes, sometimes subtly and sometimes quite explicitly. I think with this song, it does talk a lot about um, first causes and um, life not being primary, um, but consciousness being primary, God being the start and the source and the aim of all creation. And it talks about, um, in the chorus particularly, about who God is, who his, what his key attributes are, who, who he is to us and what he's done for us. That's what the lyrical content is. So there's this line where we talk about um, that in all of creation, we hear God's voice speak. That, and then I say, you're in every breath, you're in every heartbeat. And that for us was like um, quite pointed at kind of, uh, the idea of even pre-born heartbeats. Um, you hear God's signature in that. And so what, one of the things we did was we added like the sound of a fetal heartbeat. And it's, like, it's really subtle in context that like you probably won't have noticed it. Yeah. So with the music, it just comes up here. It's like super quiet. 
And then there's other little moments where like Isaac's shouting in the room with some room mic and if you, it's just random shouts of him saying things. That's right. A little bit clap at the end there as well. Yeah, but it's yeah, in there. Just, just kept it in there. Just kept it in. Often I'll do stupid stuff like that and I have no idea whether he'll keep it in, but with that one it made the cut, so yeah. you won't hear it in context. So if I turn it up. So one of the things that I always seem to end up doing, apart from the claps, is um, stuff with the Moog over there. If we solo a bunch of this, there's a lot of stuff. Um, it sounds very odd. Um, but it's quite unique as well. It's um, really subtle as well. Very kind of weird squeak. They have, it has a cool filter that you can open and close that kind of creates interest, I guess. Another thing that's quite cool on this actually, which I forgot I was in here, is this industrial background noise. It was just off YouTube. Um, and it's got a really warm sound to it. So it's like this constant thing. I think it's like some therapy on YouTube, but like two hours of it. So there's a couple of weird synth sounds that we put in that are confused with guitar a lot of the time because they sound like a plucked electric maybe, but they're actually synth sounds and they're like kind of oriental when you just solo them out, but they work really well in the mix. So that's definitely through a kind of guitar amp to give it that thin kind of sound. Yeah, a bit driven. Um, yeah. Cool. But a lot of that's like, I listened to a lot of, um, I really enjoyed Justin Bieber's album and we listened to it, like Usher had, had a track out that was quite influential on the sound as well. And he does that quite a lot with those little plucked yeah. synth sounds that are bend as well. He yeah. likes to bend yeah. notes and I, I really like that. So we kind of worked that in. And then that combines with another part. Indie movie is, style. Yeah, which okay. is a tabla. tabla. Yeah. Um, so when you put those two together, to kind of, I guess, fatten the sound and give it that big outro in the last chorus, we have layered guitar chords underneath with that Juno sound, so it gives a really big, thick, um, more powerful ending. Yeah, listen to this guitar on its own and it sounds pretty heavy. Very kind of dirty sound. Yeah. And that's kind of panned quite hard, and then we combined with that Juno, which Isaac was talking about earlier, there's kind of a bigness of it. It's quite a cool combination. 